guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today's video, um, I'm actually doing a little bit of like a, I don't know, like a review test run. Um, if you guys actually just follow me on my Instagram, you know that I did a whole story, basically a questionnaire asking you guys what um, you would recommend to me for a product that would be more like a tinted moisturizer, a light coverage foundation, something along those lines because if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I hate wearing makeup. I just, I legit do. So. I posted over there asking you guys what your recommendations were. I got flooded with a ton of recommendations. So I'm giving all of these things a try to see which ones are my favorites. And I figured why not do a video for you guys. So the first product that I'm going to be reviewing today for you guys um, came in this little box. So cute. It's from Glossier. It is the Perfecting Skin Tint. So I'm giving this a test run today, talking to you guys about the product. Uh, applying it for you guys as well and I'm gonna do like a little bit of a wear test throughout the day and update you and see how well it wore throughout the day um, it is really hot today it's like 88 degrees with no breeze so it's pretty hot and side note I don't have air conditioning so I'm gonna be inside today filming all day long so this is definitely gonna be put through a test to see how well it wears um, yeah and I'll just give you guys updates along the way so uh, the first step is going to be going into applying the makeup um, where I didn't look this put together. So we'll get into that and then um, yeah, I'll check in with you guys throughout the day. All right, so to start off, um, I've already prepped my skin. I have my moisturizer on, my eye cream. I am now going to go in with my sunscreen. I wear this every single day. This is actually my Super Goop Everyday Sunscreen in SPF 50. I am getting laser hair removal as well. That's not fun, by the way. Um, but in order to get hair, laser hair removal, especially in the summertime, you need to wear sunscreen. So I'm getting it done on my face, neck, chin, stomach, and bikini line. So in all of those areas, I have to wear sunscreen. So I've got to apply it first before I put my makeup on. Um, disregard my neck. I have a spray tan that's like coming off and I like scrub my neck today because it looks so bad. So disregard that, we're gonna blend that in later. Also, I'm filming a clothing video after this, so it's kind of why I have clothes here, but I kind of like the aesthetic. What do you guys think? Do you like this backdrop? This is actually where I sit and I edit. I edit at the desk behind me. So I'm kind of feeling this whole vibe today. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, so to kind of blend in my neck and a little bit on my face, uh, my face isn't horrible, but just to kind of blend this area here, I like to use my By Terry Cellular de la Rose CC Serum. This stuff is great. It's also tinted and it's in the shade Sunny Flash. So I'm going to use this on my It Cosmetics foundation brush. It's not actually a foundation brush. I don't even know what it's called, but I love this brush. Um, and I'm just going to apply that to my neck just to kind of blend everything in. And then we'll use bronzer and stuff later, but this actually helps kind of blend a little bit of color into the skin so you don't look too crazy. Okay, so we're going to be testing out new makeup today, actually. I got a package in from Glossier. Um, you guys, if you remember, actually, if you follow me on my Instagram, I posted a whole story among, like, basically what you guys recommend for very light coverage just like a tinted moisturizer, something along those lines, because if you guys know, I really hate wearing makeup. I really do. I'm the makeup artist that <laughs> wishes they never had to wear makeup. So um, for me, I just wanted something super light that would just kind of do the job super quickly without having to wear a crap ton of makeup. So um, one of the recommendations was the Glossier Skin Tint, Perfecting Skin Tint. So I picked that up along with a bunch of other goodies. Um, I did get another of the Glossier Stretch Concealer, so you guys know I love this stuff. So I just got another one of those, um, but I never tried the skin tint, so I wanted to give that a go. And I figured, why not do it with you guys on camera today? I'm not even sure if this is going to match my skin. It might be too light um, because I didn't have a spray tan before I ordered this. So we'll give it a go. We'll see how good it is. If I can blend it out and use bronzer, maybe we can fix it that way. Since a lot of times I really only put makeup in the center of my face, I don't wear it all over. So this might actually work. Okay, so the color shade that I got was G10. This is basically what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of a Temp2 packaging. Pretty simple. Um, this is actually something that I, if I actually love this, 
I would repurchase to put in my kit because this is literally doable to store away in my kit for me. Um, this is like the perfect size packaging and everything. So yeah, I hope this works. Um, basically it just says to shake then smooth over this moisturized skin with your fingertips. Key, fingertips. Blend upward and outward to sheer coverage and, it, and get an instant dewiness. So, okay, that's cool. It wants you to use your hands, which I don't mind. So let's try it out. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit on the back of my hand. This seems like it's gonna be the perfect color tone for me. I'm like kind of neutral with my skin. I'm not too pink, not too yellow. So this might actually work. So I don't use primers anymore. I don't use really anything. I just like to use my moisturized skin and I feel like my pores are a lot better since I've started doing that. So this looks actually really nice. And blending on with your fingers is like really nice as well. Like it just seems like it just glides on a lot better. The consistency is not like super watery. It definitely is like it moves, but it feels like it's like a creamy watery consistency, if that makes any sense. I really like this. So I'm just kind of like blending it on almost like a lotion, but then I'm like tapping it out in areas that might be like a little red or something that I need like more coverage in. Um, I mean, just note that this isn't gonna give you like super high coverage or anything like that but it's literally doing the job as to what I would want it to do. I just wanted something that was simple, I could throw on and it would just even out any skin tone discoloration that I had without being like too much on the skin, especially in the summertime, you guys. Makeup in the summer, oh, I hate it. I literally hate it so much. So anything that's just like super light on the skin and almost acts as like skincare instead of makeup is like my go-to. I love it. My nose tends to be trouble, so I'm gonna see how like a little buffing brush does with this. I need to bring my mirror in closer. Wow, oh my gosh. Okay, so the buffing brush does work. Like you can, if you're someone who doesn't wanna use your fingertips, you can use the brush. This looks so nice on the skin, hold on. I'm gonna see if it's buildable. I only took a little bit more. I'm gonna take some of the back of my hand and I'm just gonna sweep it down from the cheeks. Just cause like, in traditional makeup, if you guys like read Kevin O'Quan's books, Laura Mercier, anything, your makeup really should just be in the center of your face and you literally just like sweep it out to blend it out in the rest of the face. If you think about it, you don't have any problematic areas on the outside of your face unless you have like a lot of acne or anything like that but for me like and most of my clientele anybody I get that sits in my chair a lot of the problematic areas hormones whatever it may be especially if you're a female usually in the center of your face especially around your mouth and your nose so what I do is I just take it and I blend it out after I put it in the center so that way it's like nicely faded and it's not too obvious this is actually a really nice color. I feel like I can use this tan or not tan. It's like an interesting kind of product. I'm so impressed by that product because you can still see my skin. It faded so nicely. I think because it's so sheer, it's not gonna like show too much coloration difference um, if your shade's just a little bit off. But like you can tell like it just, it's, it's almost like a blurring product. It just smoothed everything over. You can still see like a little bit of coloration. I mean, it's not like a full coverage product, um, but I can still see my freckles. It's smoothed over my pores, so my pores aren't as obvious. It's dewy, but it's not like so shiny where I need to mattify it. I'll still put a powder over it, but very, very light. Um, but I am pretty impressed by this product. Um, I didn't expect it to be that good, um, being that something, when it's something so sheer, you tend to like really worry that it's not going to really do a job. It's just like putting water on your skin almost, but I'm pretty impressed. My nose is especially a problem area for me. It just shows coloration so much, darkness, lightness, redness, everything. The sun just went down too. That was weird. <laughs> um, but you can tell like it just, 
it smoothed everything over. So I am so impressed. I like that it was easy enough that I could use my fingers with this and that they actually recommend you to use your fingers with this. But if you're someone who really just doesn't want to use your hands, which is fine, some people don't, um, a buffing brush, something that's more synthetic, compact, will work pretty good. I wouldn't use something that's loose in hairs. I would use something a little bit more dense and compact because it's going to kind of kind of manipulate as your fingers. I would not use a beauty blender or type sponge because that's just going to absorb the product, not going to do anything for you. So fingertips at best, that's what Glossier recommends um, on the packaging, or I would use, like I said, buffing brush. Okay, I did pick up a new stretch concealer. This is also in G10, and I'm just going to use that today underneath my eyes and stuff. Um, I ran out originally, and this is actually one of my favorite products. I would literally use this all over the face as like my foundation, but basically how I just applied the skin tint, and it's such a good product. Especially in the summer when it's like you just literally don't want to wear any makeup, it's a good product to wear uh, because it's so lightweight, but it literally covers. I'm just putting that underneath my eyes and a little bit in the center. Fingers usually work pretty well um, with the stretch concealer as well. I think they basically wanted to create their line to be more of like a minimalistic type vibe. So you didn't have to use so much to like use their products. You could literally use your hands for almost everything that they have. Um, blushes, everything. Like I use their blushes with my fingers as well. Um, it's good, good stuff. I have used the stretch concealer before with this brush. This is an IT Cosmetics blending concealer brush. This is number 203. This is actually a really good freaking brush. If you guys need one like this, I highly recommend it. IT Cosmetics just in general has really good brushes. So if you're someone who's just starting out in makeup or wants to add to your collection, IT Cosmetics has bomb brushes. And like I said, this one's also IT Cosmetics as well. So these are like my dynamic duos. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup routine and I guess I'll just do it with you guys on camera just cause that way you guys can see what I do. But I basically, I'm just going to lightly set my face and I'm just taking a little bit of this Dermablend powder, not a lot of it at all. And I'm just using that to set my skin in place or like set my makeup in place, not my skin. I noticed though a lot of times when I've used the stretch concealer, you can't use a lot of powder because it tends to like grab in a certain way that you don't want it to. Um, it just works better on the skin as as is. So I just like to set a little bit of powder just because I naturally get pretty oily. But it is a dewy product so you don't want it to be like too powdery on the skin. I'm so impressed and excited that this product really was like amazing right off the bat. But we're gonna do a wear test. We're gonna see how well it wears throughout the day. Today's a hot day, I don't have air conditioning in my house, so I feel like I'm putting this product through its ultimate test because it's hot. <laughs> so let's see how well it wears. Um, let's finish up the makeup though. So um, after I set my face, I'm gonna go in with my bronzer. This is uh, Physicians Formula's Butter Bronzer. This is one of my favorites. You guys know I talk about it all the time. I'm just gonna lightly bronze up my skin. This is generally what I do almost every day. Um, I just, yeah. Since I don't put makeup throughout the surrounding areas of my face, I just let the bronzer do the job and kind of warm up my skin. Okay, so after my bronzer, um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I don't. I'm not a huge fan of blush, but I will wear blush just to kind of make me look a little bit more alive. So um, I am going to use this Laura Geller, what is this? This is a Baked Blush and Brighten in Tropic Hues. Uh, this is one of my favorites. It's just a really nice blush color. And I just like to add that right on apples of the cheeks very lightly because you guys know I don't like blush. I just, I don't know what it is about it. I'm not like a huge fan, but so I'll pick like glowy blushes or ones that are really natural, not too bright, not too pink or anything like that. I don't like crazy blushes, but I have to say my skin looks healthy. Like it's, I don't know, it looks so pretty with this Glossier Skin Tint. I don't know. I love it. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of highlighter. I feel like I'm not going to need a lot just because this skin tint is, like, it has a dew to it. So I feel like I don't want to add a lot, but I will add a little bit of makeup to my chest. This is Ofra's 
Rodeo Drive highlighter that I'm adding to my body. I tend to do this, especially in the summer if I'm wearing like tanks and stuff. Why not wear like highlighter all over yourself because then it just looks normal with the rest of your face. So lately I actually haven't even been wearing anything on my eyes. I literally just wear mascara. So I'm, I mean, as you guys know, I am so minimalist when it comes to my makeup. Um, and like I've said before, I just don't like wearing makeup. So I've actually just been emphasizing and like letting my natural lid color just like be what it wants to be. Um, sometimes if I feel like it's necessary, I'll take like a little bit of my highlighter and I'll pop it like right on the inner corners of my eyes with my finger and call it a day. I like to be super simple. Um, since I skip my eye makeup, I just generally go in and I do my brows, mascara, call it a day. So um, the brow color I'm using right now is only because I ran out of my favorite brow pencil. So I have to pick a new one up when I go get my brows done this week. But the one I'm using right now is like a backup. Actually came, I think this came in my BoxyCharm, but this is the Mellow Brow Definer. And this one is in the shade, I don't even know. Oh god. I don't even know what shade it's in because it doesn't tell me. But it's like a dark brown. I usually love using the Kelly Baker Brows brow pencil. That one's like so good. It's my favorite. But that's the one I ran out of. Okay, then I fill them in. This is actually one of my new favorites, you guys. If you know, I was always talking about the benefit um what is it like Gimme Brow or something like that? That's a good product still, but this is like 10 times better. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. This one's in the shade Herb. I freaking love this stuff. It's a brow gel, but it's tinted. And it just really like, if you don't wear any pencil in your brows, it really does fill them in for you. Like it will grab any of the sparser areas and just like fill it in as best as possible, which I love because then that means I won't really wear a lot of pencil in my brows. And then I can just use like, more brow gel since I always wear brow gel anyways it's just like perfect that this tint is like the best level of tint you can get and I also think that this might be the secret as to why my brows have been growing back in like crazy I don't know I don't know if it has to do with any CBD I feel like they have CBD in it because it's like a kush based line but I don't know, I just feel like it's honestly made my brows grow pretty well. And then I just take Anastasia Brow Gel and I grab the underneath because this is like first world problems. <laughs> my lashes are so long when I have mascara on that it grabs onto the lower end of like my brows, like the bottom, and it pulls some of my brow hairs down. So I have to like extra glue them down. So now I'm just going in with mascara. I don't even curl my lashes anymore because I get too much of like the lines on my brow bones. So I just use two mascaras right now. I kind of like this one, I kind of don't. Um, this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's all right, but I still always go in with my L'Oreal Telescopic. It's like my OG favorite, you guys know. I love that mascara, it's right here. <laughs> But I go in with a Better Than Sex, because I feel like this one adds a lot of volume to the lashes. And then I use my um, L'Oreal Telescopic to get rid of the clumps and kind of lengthen them back out. Alright, so I literally just went in the bathroom real quick, put some of my jewelry on, fixed my hair because I was looking a hot mess. And I finished up the rest of my makeup, so I'm going to share with you guys what I use to finish up the rest of my makeup. And then, yeah, we're going to wear this throughout the day, see how well it works out. So, um, I did spritz my face with this Grace and Stella Spray All Day Rose Spray. This is basically a hydrating facial toner tonic, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I use this as well as like a setting spray. I just actually love the way it feels. It feels really good, especially on a freaking hot day. So <laughs> this is always with me. And then I did apply a little bit of a, like a lipstick. You probably can't even tell it's there, but I like that. So, um, I actually applied when I was shopping on Glossier, I picked up this, I don't even know what it's called. The Generation Sheer Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Like. Now on my lips, it just kind of looks like I ate some strawberries or blueberries, which I like that look. It's actually taken me a while to find a product that does this, and now I found it, and I'm so excited because if you look at it in the lipstick, it literally looks like a dark, dark purple lipstick, but it's not. I literally just dabbed it on my lips, and that's what it turned out to be. It's perfect, I love it. So 
that's all I did for the rest of my makeup. Um, so now I'm basically just going to wear this makeup throughout the day, see how well it looks, and I'm going to check in with you guys maybe once or twice um, to basically tell you my thoughts and give my full review. For, but for right now, I have to say this perfecting skin tint is freaking bomb. Just saying. I've, it's taken me over like an hour to finish filming and finish up my makeup. The camera overheated a couple times, but I have to say in that hour, my skin still looks pretty good. So, I mean, you guys tell me in the comments, what do you think? But right now, I think it looks pretty bomb. So I have to say 10 out of 10 right now. Love it. I also love the fact that it was so easy to use and that they recommend you to use your fingers. Like that was amazing. So yeah, awesome. So, um, yeah, anyways, I'm going to stop chatting and I will check in with you guys a little bit later today. All right, guys, I wanted to check in real quick for you. I am actually in the car. I am slowly driving, though. I'm about to pull in the driveway to my second job. It's literally, like, right in front of me. But I wanted to check in with you guys real quick and check in about my makeup. So my makeup looks freaking amazing. It actually looks like I don't even have makeup on, which I love. And it, like, didn't even, like, break apart or anything. So I am really happy so far. I cannot complain at all. And it's been about, like four almost five hours since I saw you guys last on camera so I'm pretty impressed this makeup's holding up pretty well considering the fact it's like 88 degrees high today and I've been in no air conditioning so I am pretty pumped so I'm gonna park my car and head into work and then I will check in with you guys later once I get home and see how my makeup wore throughout my shift. Hey guys, so last check-in. Um, I am now home from work, it's about 10 o'clock. I'm about to wash my makeup off, but I just kind of wanted to touch base with you guys about my makeup real quick before I wash my face. So, last and final verdict, I have to say, I really like this product. Um, now you guys know I'm an OG stretch concealer lover. So the stretch concealer worked out great for me, especially under the eyes. I used to always wear it kind of on the center of my face like a foundation, but it did usually sometimes would break up on my skin and that's only because I am really oily. Um, that's just normal for me, but I still love the stretch concealer. So don't get me wrong. It's just I'm now realizing after using the skin tint that the stretch concealer was really only meant for like Spot areas and underneath my eyes on my skin per se on other people. It works out great anywhere but overall the perfecting skin tint I have to say is freaking amazing and I absolutely love it especially in the heat like for me as an oily skin girl not a lot of makeup on my face works out better for me in the summer than it does in any other month because my makeup just like will break up so easily or just looks so cakey so I always have to choose the right products and this is like literally the perfect addition to my makeup collection and my everyday makeup I cannot Tell you guys how much I actually love this product. Right now I am a tiny bit shiny, but quite honestly, like it doesn't bother me. I think my skin looks so good and like nothing's broken up. You can't really tell, it just looks like my skin. I am so excited. This is actually the first product that I've ever put on my face where the product didn't even break up around my chin, around my like lip area. Like I am so impressed. So impressed. So I highly recommend this product, 10 out of 10, um, I'm so excited. So I will link it below for you guys, again I am the shade G10 in the stretch concealer as well as the skin tint um, if you're curious, but yeah, I'm so excited. I need to purchase like all the colors <laughs> because this looks so good, I'm obsessed. So yeah, anyways, since I gave you guys my last and final update, that's also going to include today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am literally here in my bathroom about to wash my face, so <laughs> I need to get this makeup off and go to bed. But side note, since I did kind of go on like a little bit of like a spending spree on like new makeup, since I basically posted that Instagram story on what tinted moisturizers you guys like, um, there's going to be more videos like this because um, I went kind of crazy and ordered a bunch of makeup so I think the next one's gonna be like a Charlotte Tilbury based video um, I've got some stuff that I wanted to try off of her website and some like concealers and stuff so we'll give that a go as well so look forward to that in the future but yeah, I just kind of want to throw that in there for you guys so you knew what was coming up soon but yeah that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching love you all and yeah I will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>